Hi and welcome to another video from Divine by Design. Today I'm going to be looking at creating some art using Vinylux. Now this is following on from my previous video which is how to produce the Neon Effect blended shellac nails. I'm just going to show you the actual shellac nails. Now I have just done a tutorial on how to produce these. So I'm going to show you how to mimic this effect using Vinylux. So I'm going to be doing it just on my thumb. I have a breezer gel enhancement on this. I've already completed four pops with the blending and I've top coated those just to show you what it looks like without the print effect at the end. And I have one pop that I have half done ready to show you how to blend as well. So the colours that I've used here in the Vinylux range are Lobster Roll, Bicycle Yellow, Limeade, Seaside's Party, Grape Gum, Tutti Fruity and Blackpool finally for the art at the end. You're going to need some plastic back pads or a tile to actually apply your uh, Vinylux to and some makeup sponges. These ones I've just purchased from uh, beauty wholesalers. So to start, make sure that you've completed PEP and scrub fresh to the nails, which I am just doing now to my thumb. And I am going to copy these colours here, which is the Seaside Party and the Grape Gum. So remember to give it a really good shake. Now we're going to start by applying the Seaside Party. Just a note to say that my enhancements have been on for a week now, so if you can see some cuticle growth coming out, that is why, which I haven't removed prior to the video in honesty. But the trick with Vinylux is load the underside of your brush nicely and keep the brush as horizontal to the nail as possible. You want to be floating the Vinylux over the nail, not digging the brush in and cap the end. The best way to get the right amount on your brush is after you've shook the bottle. What we do is we push the brush against the neck of the bottle and we should have a nice well of polish underneath. Now do this to all ten nails and by the time that we've done that we'll be ready to come back and start the other side. Okay now that that's dried we are ready to go in now with the grape gum. Again give this a really good shake. Now the other side has dried, we can go in with the grape gum and do exactly the same thing again. It's fine to get an overlap on these. Remember Vinylux is a quick drying polish, so don't dilly dally too long while you're playing with it. As you can see we've got really good coverage on that just in the first coat because we have gone quite thick. But you can leave that to dry while you do this to the other 10 nails. And then we can go in with a second coat. While my nail is drying I'm just going to show you the look that we are aiming to achieve. As you can see we have gone along here from the lobster roll to the bicycle yellow to the limeade to the seaside party and to grape gum. Now you could do this from um, thumb to little finger or vice versa. I'm just going to show you here. I'll put these ones down. That using the sponging we get a nice blending effect but if we turn it over you can see it's a very definite straight line. So what you need to do with this, you need to be a little bit clever and you need to know a little bit about your colours because some are naturally more semi-sheer than others. Others are much more strongly pigmented um, as you can see from me applying that the Seaside Party gives a very deep coverage on the first application. So you need to know a little bit about your colours just to know which one you're going to pick to go over the top of the other. So what we're going to achieve here, this has got two coats of Tutti Frutti and two coats of Grape Gum. Now the Grape Gum here is slightly more pigmented than the Tutti Frutti. What I mean by that is on the first coat it seems more opaque than the Tutti Frutti. Obviously after two coats they're both equally the same, but to get a good blending effect we're going to go with the grape gum here. So get your plastic back pad, get your makeup sponge, 
And remember, this is a quick drying polish, so you can't get this ready in advance and then hope it'll still be okay when you come back to it in a few minutes. Only get out the colours that you need as you need them. So pop the goat gum onto the pad. That's a little bit more than we need, but it's okay. And just dab it along from side to side to get a good coat. So here is you go along the line and start just before the edge of the line and pat the sponge on. It starts to blend. Work it out a little bit, but very carefully. You want to get a nice graduated effect, and as it dries on the sponge, it enables you to do that. Then to let that dry, because you need to do that twice. So while that's drying, my nails should be ready to start working on now, and I'm going to do the same again. With this one, I'm going to do the seaside party. Remember to give your bottles a good shake first and pop some Seaside Party onto your pad. Get your sponge and get a good coverage along the edge. Now here on the nail we're going to do exactly the same thing again. Just turn into the light for you. Load your sponge up with a little more if you need it and just pat along. Now we're going to let that dry and because they're both quite dark colours we're going to go back the other way with the grape gum in a moment once that's dried. In the meantime we're going to come back to our pop and do a second coat. This is just to disguise the definite line between the two colours. If it looks a little thick Pat it out to thin it out. And you can turn onto the clean side of the sponge just to blend it a little. So we're going to let that dry now. And we're going to come back over the thumbnail with the grape gum. Just load up your sponge and pat over. And pat over until it's blended in. We're just going to come pop back to our pop and this is just to demonstrate the way different colours blend together. Going to load up a little bit more Tutti Frutti and go back the other direction. Okay for the final stage of the artwork we are going to do some stripes. So for this we're going to need Blackpool and a Camps onto your pad. Then get your fine detail brush and put a good helping on. Go to the side of the nail and just sweep across. And go in between the existing stripes that you've already done. And there we have the striped effect. And we're going to do the same to our pop while this is drying. Now if you're doing this on a client, you do all ten nails, and by which point it should be dry. So we're going to go to our pop. Now remember these are considerably larger than people's nails normally. So we do have to use more polish. And these don't have to be perfect. Try to take the edge of the stripe over the blended area. Once you finish the stripes, remember you need to do this to every nail, we're going to let it dry. In the meantime, you need to remember to clean out your brushes. Um, what I tend to do, if it's fine luxe, then I use Scrub Fresh to clean out the brush and then I add a little bit of solar oil to the bristles just to keep them um, from drying out too much. 
As you can see, this one's a particularly fine one. So I'm just going to clean up my brushes now. Now the stripes have dried, we are going to top coat them. Now just because you create quite a bit of texture, which you may be able to see from the sponging, I recommend two top coats. So do all 10 fingers first, and then go back and do them again. So we're now going to top coat. When you top coat, make sure you give it a good shake first. And then we're going to apply the same principles again. Load the brush underneath and float it over. You don't want to be dragging any of the polish, you want to be floating this top coat over the whole lot. And don't forget to cap the free edge. We're now going to do the same to the nail pop. And here is the final result. I think it's hard to tell which ones are Vinylux and which are shellac. Obviously these are the shellac from my previous video. And this is the Vinylux. But all together, because the shine is so good and the quality of Vinylux is so amazing, you actually can't tell. And as you can see, here are the nail pops. Which are all Vinylux. And that's going from Lobster Roll to Bicycle Yellow, Limeade, Seaside Party, Grape Gum and Tutti Frutti. Now I've done four of them without any patterns on just so you can see the difference and you can decide whether or not you want to add any detailing. It doesn't have to be black, it could be any colour. You could go for silver over the top which would look really amazing for holidays. Um, you can do stripes, you could do an animal print like a leopard print, flowers, stars, anything you really fancy. Also, the other thing to consider is you do not have to go from side to side with the actual blending. You could go diagonally across the nail, you could go from base to tip. The options are absolutely endless what you can do here. So I hope this has been a great help to you. Thank you very much for watching. Please remember to pop by my website. It's www.divinebydesignbeauty.com. All my video tutorials are on my website. Um, I'm also on Facebook www.facebook.com forward slash divine by design cnd nails on twitter i'm divine by design one on pinterest it's xdbdx and on instagram i'm divine by design beauty thanks very much for watching i hope you've enjoyed it and i'll see you again soon